dear traders, for today's session, I decided to cover Bitcoin versus US dollar. I will speak about Ethereum versus US dollar. And overall, I will speak about the dollar index and uh, what we got on the on the goal. I will start with the Bitcoin uh, versus US dollar first. So what we got on the Bitcoin was uh, basically a classic continuational uh, pattern. Uh, we did have two low to high days basically bec uh, uh, based on the Taylor FM after the two low to high days in a downside trending mode, expect the third day to be a down day or sell day. And if you check today, we already sold off about 9% on the Bitcoin and, and the price is probably heading to retest the low at 39,610. If we even break that level, I can see that price can revisit um, the 37,250 level. So obviously this is a, like a very continuational move after the two day rally and um, we got all signs on the road, like we got a divergences this morning. Uh, if you check uh, this, we made a higher high on the price section, lower high on the, on the stochastic, and there was a close price reversal. And from that area, we got a big sell off. So now, since we're already trading into the new low for the day, and so probably the best option is to wait for some decent, decent upside correction, I must say, <clears throat> for the price to, you know, correct decently, maybe towards the mean on the 30 or 15 or so, and then try to attempt for the downside. If you're already not bearish, uh, then this is not a spectacular, attractive price for um, a downside at this stage when we make it a new low for the day. So obviously wait for some rallies. And if you see the trend, the rally will happen before we hit the pivot lows. And so then that could be an, an intraday play for the downside. But definitely daily, I do expect retest of the 39,610 uh, 39, and the 37,240. Speaking of the Ethereum, it's pretty much similar thing. It's just the different levels in play. We got a 22,665 in the play. And then the next pivot, the recent swing, uh, the, the swing high that we got here, which is around 2,385. Tons of the big sellers around, sellers in control and uh, same thing like like with the Bitcoin, just watch for the rallies, watch for some ABC, some bear flags, continuational patterns on intraday time frame for the better timing in this down cycle. Now about the dollar index overall, uh, dollar index is a pretty chunky, I will say. Um, it's a very volatile, it's basically having the some consolidation lows around the 92, 97, highs around 93.50. And right now we're somewhere in the middle. So it's pretty much um, flat. We're just working around the climax low and climax high. Now we're in the middle of that. So at this stage, I see this like a flat condition on the dollar index for its US dollar index for itself. And uh, I would like to see the breakout of this climatic zone that I marked with the um, yellow uh, rectangle. And I've also touched the USD CAD. I think overall that USD Canadian dollar, as long it can hold below this, uh, this 1.2700, uh, there is a chance for more down side on the USD versus Canadian dollar. So if you can eventually see maybe the next 30 minutes or so, some, some, tank, some kind of the close price reversal, some down bar after the sub bar or so. And if you see the bear divergence, sustain as long we can we are trading below this pivot and we are not breaking this 1.2700 uh i see more <clears throat> more room for the downside rotation going into the uh, later uh into the today's today's close so if we back aggressively above 1.2700, that, that can open the door for eventually even further rally into the 1.2730, uh, 750. But hesitation to go and penetrate and hold above 1.2700, I guess, can open the door for uh, some more downside movement, probably towards the uh, towards the previous day low, eventually uh, to 1.2630.35. So for now, I will say big big pivot in the play 1.2700 also pretty much round number and watch carefully and if you see any kind of the bear divergence or so or close price reversal it can be a sign for another potential down move 
that'll be all for today. I hope that you did enjoy and uh, I wish you a great weekend. Have a good weekend and uh, be ready and uh, for the new updates from Monday next week. Take care and trade safe. Thank you.